Hello there everybody, my name is Waddles and welcome back to the Let's Play series, episode 83. Episode 83, that's it. Today I'm starting at the comment of the day wall uh, that we set up last episode because I'd like to do the comment of the day right in the beginning today because it's a little more convenient. So a comment of the day, just to catch you up in case you missed it, is a comment about the series. Dang it, the pigment are breaking my doors again. Uh, but a comment about the series could be really anything. Today's comment of the day is from Screamin' Eagle. So he left a very good comment about some tweaks to the wall here. And as you might notice, the wall looks a little different than it did. I extended the beams. Like Screamin' said, uh, there would be a name issue if I put the signs up along the top, which there was. You could barely read the names, so I'm going to do the frames right down the middle with the names on that. And then the episode number right down here, uh, so everyone can see you know, what episode is what. If you were in a world download or something like that, looking for your name, and then got the lighting up there, it looks really, really nice. But I think it's time to move on to the big project today. Big project. Oh, I also hit an anvil in here, right there, and a chest right there. So I think it's time to get back into the Nether Hub project that I started a few episodes back. I need a main hub, and that's going to be the big plan today. I'd love to throw a main central Nether Hub right in this area. Now, also, I finally did go ahead and adjust the tunnel to the blaze spawner. There's a gas. That's not good. Uh, I adjusted the tunnel to the blaze spawner here, so I have ice in here and then room for a track up top, just like the tunnel that goes to the storage room that I was just in. So that is something different, uh, but not too interesting. I did talk about it in a, a few episodes back. So this main hub is going to be... Kind of big, but also kind of not big. I don't want to make something that's unnecessarily large, right? Uh, I just want to make it big enough for what we need. So what we need is room for a rail cart thing, and then also a few spots for tunnels to go out to. If I'm not taking the rail cart, I want to be able to access each and every tunnel like with a boat or something like that. So uh, we really don't need too much in it. Now I'm thinking about maybe some crafting and that kind of stuff in here as well, just because, you know, it's kind of good to have, but I think we'll throw it on this layer, uh, the floor at least. So I'll stand one block higher. Um, uh, what shape do I want to do? Hmm. Well, I know that I want to do the rail cart thing, right? Uh, to leave the, the hub. Uh, along the back and I'm just going to do one entry track and then we're going to make a fancy switcher thing so I got that going for us right uh <laughs> that's really not much at all uh that's not a good start okay everybody prepare for your minds to be blown I have an idea and I have a vision and it all makes sense now so prepare yourself uh I'm not going to wait any longer so Big control panel wall here, right? Really cool redstone business of coolness, right? Then we have the single train track that I'm going to do, leaving the hub. Then I have a hallway going to other hallways. That's the crazy part. And then a portal. I'll move that portal over here. Um, not down there, though. Like, you know, of course, even with this platform. Now, I went with the yellow floor because uh, I wanted to do a lot of stone on the wall. This wall is going to be largely wooden, I think, because it'll look better that way. Um, but yeah, so that's all of that. Um, it's coming together. I'm going to keep chugging along on it, you know, filling it all in, trying to finish it up before I get bombed by all of the ghasts. Then we can do some more fun, interesting stuff. Now... Another mind-blowing thing about this build, <laughs> of course I'm totally joking, but another mind-blowing thing about this build is that I'm going to try and do dirt on the ceiling, and you're going to love it, okay? You're going to love my dirt ceiling a lot, and you'll understand why soon. Not yet, you won't understand now, uh, but soon. You'll understand and you'll, you'll be happy. Trust me. <laughs> well, I can pretty confidently say that that building the building that i was just doing on this hub was some of the most frantic concerning scary building that i've actually ever done like even over lava pits all of that kind of stuff the problem here was that i was constantly being shot at and uh trying to not ruin anything by shooting gas 
fireball things back. I didn't want to ruin that. I didn't want to ruin any of all of this over here. And yeah, it was just hard, but uh, the hub is coming together now. So the ceiling, I think, works, but let me know what you think about it. Um, I am thinking about doing some vines and everything hanging down from it. I could see that looking really, really cool, but uh, I don't know. Let me know what you think about it, though. Up here is kind of just a placeholder. Again, I was getting shot at constantly, and I was trying to get stuff done. Um, now in here, I'm going to do a portal, of course, right in here like this, I think. I went ahead and mined up obsidian, of course, and I had, or have, or had, or whatever, I had more than enough, right? Uh, and then I want to do glass right behind the portal because... I think that would be kind of cool, a nice little extra effect uh, going on out here, you know, with the window, because it is a nice looking area, I think, and there's another one of those wonderful guys, very nice, I love it, uh, I actually don't love it at all, uh, there we go, speed placing, and taking this back, all of that, and let's light the portal, so that should work, that should go right to the the uh afk area by the swamp so that's cool now um so the dirt wall over here is temporary i'd like to do more glass over here but uh this area doesn't look as good it's just the nether you know and then this wall i think it's gonna be about time to talk about what i'd want what i want to do excuse me so change of plans um i'm gonna talk about the project right now and i want your feedback on it instead of jumping into it today because it's kind of big we'll jump into it like next episode or one of the one of the coming ones and let me know what you think about this because i'm no redstone master wizard or anything like this there might be an easier or a better way to do this so you know tell me what uh you're thinking down in the comments i'm listening but anyways, uh, I want to have one rail line coming in or leaving this kind of main hub, not really a main hub, kind of a main hub, right? It's one leaving here because it's cleaner than, say, having nine different ones. And if I had nine different uh, lines coming in, if I wanted to add a tenth one, wouldn't be very easy, right? So I'm going to build a big redstone thing on this wall here. This is going to be the biggest redstone thing we have in our world here. Because I don't do a lot of redstone. I mean, I have some redstone stuff in here, but nothing that big. This one will be pretty big. Um, and fancy, too. Okay, anyways, the whole idea here is that this wall right here is a control panel. What I'd like to do is have a lamp and then have an item frame. And then in that item frame, I'll throw something that represents where a line would go. So let's say I have a line going to the farming uh, area or the tree farm, you know. So I have this, then I want to turn this item to send a signal i'll use a comparator right behind this block here to send the signal to a track somewhere and i'll have a track switcher off down the singular line right to make sure that if i jump in a minecart it'll take me to the tree farm right and then i have the lamp here um kind of for looks uh, i'll figure out how to have it all turn on as well i think that would be kind of cool but the lamp's not really necessary um but I think that's going to be the plan. That's going to be the idea, basically. I think it kind of makes sense. Uh, but like I said, if you have any questions, throw them down below. I should be able to fit a lot of different lines in here, and then I can always expand this whole wall if need be, and maybe duplicate it somewhere or something like that. But yeah, I think I explained it right. Probably not. <laughs> Let me know if that makes sense. Uh, or if you have some kind of idea, tell me down below. Uh, my name is Waddles. Um, I'll go over that again in the episode when I'm doing it. It'll make a lot more sense, I think. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Leave me something to read down below. And I'll see you next time. Go have a good day. Goodbye, everybody.